Hi everybody, it's Gypsy. Um, oh, little update. Uh, I told you yesterday I will be in Seligman sometime next month in April. I just found out they are starting a community farmers market and they're looking for vendors. Um, so with the help of my friend who lives there, I we have contacted the woman in charge and I am waiting for um, to get word back. I don't know if it's every weekend or maybe once or twice a month or whatever, um, but it's at the pizza joint, which is near the KOA on Route 66. So I'll let you know if I'm going to vend there. And if you're in the area on vacation, come by and see me. I would love it, even if it's just to introduce yourself. Um, so anyways, I'm not sure what I'm calling this video yet, but most of the time, I'm attacked by Christians for who I am. Yeah, a witch. Um, one day, recently I was attacked online. I was on a live stream. And a Christian started to attack me. And an atheist stuck up for me. So the Christian went after the atheist. And I just left. I'm like, I wanted to hear the live stream, not do this. Um, but today, I was attacked by someone who I think, I don't know if it was an actual attack, the first person just said I was stupid. Right. Um, second person, I think they were just stating what they believe and think. It wasn't really nasty or anything like that. I mean, they weren't calling names or anything. Maybe she said the Abraham or he. I don't know if it was he or she. Abrahamic religions were stupid, which which is still wrong. You don't go around calling people stupid. You don't agree. That's all there is to it. Um. But anyways, when people talk like this, especially when you're calling somebody stupid, what you're doing is showing your ignorance, and ignorance is um worse than stupidity because ignorance means you either have knowledge or access to knowledge you're not using before you jump to that conclusion now it did have to it started out with that sexy summer camp they're having up in Kentucky in the Appalachians okay I think that's deplorable but one of the women went on and on about how she's a witch. So the two guys who were talking about this said, well, see right there, she's crazy, etc. And I was like, I made the comments. I said, excuse me. I said, I think what they're doing is very, very wrong. And, you know, this has nothing to do with being a witch. It has everything uh, to do with common sense. So somebody said something to me about you know, being stupid or something like that. This guy, I don't even remember what he said. And I said, well, oh, being a witch is not having common sense. And I said, but politeness and manners is, and obviously you're lacking. It's the kind of answers you're going to get from me if you're going to act immature. And that was a very immature statement. Now the second person said they know something about Wicca and, and plant, uh, magic they like the magic in, in the use of, of plants the science that was an intelligent statement highly intelligent because yes magic has a lot to do with science especially um what is uh, quantum physics is a science now that is really connected with magic but yes the person was right about that um but they said, other than that, they don't believe in magic. They believe, you know, gods and goddesses, especially, is stupid. Abrahamic religion is stupid. Not going around insulting people. Again, you're showing your ignorance and lack of love and politeness, which is something this world is really lacking, and that's how this world got to the point it is now. Instead of saying, well, I don't see it that way or I don't agree with you, we insult each other and we want to control the other person and we want to make that person be like us and that's what was going on with me 
in this conversation. And worse yet, oops, the wind's picking up. We allow others to control us. A lot of times we'll fall for it and go to their way of believing, whether we want to or not, which is wrong. Okay. Now, one of my points is make sure you have all the information before you start swinging your verbal fists. Okay. I had to explain to this person, first of all, not all witches are Wiccan, and I'm not Wiccan. And I said, not all witches are religious. I was a Christian for 45 years, and as hard as I tried, I couldn't be religious. As a witch, I cannot be religious. I had to explain this person. Majority of green witches, they're not religious. I don't worship a certain deity. And now here I could get attacked by other witches. I'm telling you that you're not really a witch. Well, who cares? It's what I choose to view myself as, whether that person agrees or not. It's another thing. You could be whoever you want, whatever you want. Don't let others dictate to you who and what you are, nor your intelligence level. So, anyways, yes, a green witch is into nature, plants, etc. That's what we work with. That's what we use. The seasons, the astronomical rotations, all the cycles, all that. And most witches do. And although I will do some spell casting, I am not doing it with the aid of a specific deity. And like I told this person today, when it comes to God, I don't believe like most others do. I don't, first of all, I definitely don't believe there's some man in the sky, an old man with a long white beard sitting in the throne with a scepter waiting to zap everybody or reward and condemn. I don't believe in that. To me, there is a source of all creation. Whether or not it has consciousness or not, I, I, I have a tendency to assume it does have some kind of consciousness because we do. But personality-wise, judgment-wise, to, to me it's like very benign. Almost like it's just there, you know? So that's the way I view it. So I cannot be religious. And I think there is something I know uh, that I've retained in, in, in my spiritual memory, either from the spirit realm or incarnating, like on Sirius B or something, where I have knowledge that it's not like planet Earth thinks it is. Nothing is. And this is another thing. We all must remember this. While we're incarnated here, no matter what we believe or what we know, we cannot know it fully. We cannot really understand it while we're here. So this is why you get different perceptions. One believes it's this thing, and another believes it's that thing. But neither one is wrong or right, because there is no way, no way in hell, while you're a human being, you're going to know any of this for sure. So we need to start cutting each other some slack, for God's sake. Yeah, right, Dad, no pun intended. Um, this is ridiculous. This is why this world is like it is. Have enough confidence in yourself to one not to try to convert everybody into your way of thinking why do you need backup you should have enough confidence you don't need backup what was my second boy <laughs> right and, and to not verbally beat each other up because of it or try to control that person. I mean, this is ridiculous. We, I think all of humanity have a mommy-daddy complex. Because even well into adulthood, to the day we die, we want somebody to take care of us. We're looking for permission from organized religion and from the governments. Why? You're a grown-ass adult. Act like it. You don't need permission. Okay? And I don't even want to go into the common sense stuff, like don't kill people or rob or rapers. Come on. It's common sense. We don't need religion. And you know what? I I'm going to go right here. Atheists have morals. Witches have morals. Question is, do you use them? 
Hey everybody, it's Gypsy, and I just wanted to show you two new additions to my beaded hair bandana collection. This first one is my favorite, the marijuana leaf. Uh, black background, green marijuana leaves on it. And it is glass, triangular beads, and with beads draped in between. And then we have the red bandana, uh, which also is 100% cotton. And it has gorgeous wooden be beads all around the face. And it's ended with a glass amber bead at the bottom. These are all vintage beads on all three of these because I'm going to remind you of my next favorite one, the rainbow one. And it has gorgeous vintage round glass iridescent beads. Plus it has faceted and round seed beads, glass in blue and clear. Check it out at gypsywitchcreations.com. I've seen plenty of Christians no morals, no love, no kindness. There's always a few bad apples in every bunch. You know, see, we can't judge each other on that. Patriotism, especially American patriotism, has nothing to do with religion. Right. Never. They don't. Okay? So we can't judge each other by our spiritual path our beliefs, or whatever. Do you have morals? Do you treat people kindly and with respect? Are you a mature adult who can take care of yourself and make your own decisions? Your own. Not decisions for other people. And I don't give a fuck who you are. How high on that pyramid you think you are. You don't have the right to make decisions for others. You make them for yourself. Do what you will. Harm none. This is getting ridiculous, people. I am so sick and tired of the way the people on this planet behave. You can believe whatever you want. It's religiously, spiritually. It's not going to make or break you. And I'm going to come right out and say, there is no hell. The closest thing that comes to hell is life on this planet. Okay? And that's all there is to it. No matter whether you believe in a deity or not, or more than one deity or not, it doesn't matter because when you die, there's only one place to go, and I don't care who says what about it. The only one who judges you is yourself. So if you do something in this lifetime, can't you live with it for the rest of eternity? That's all, you know, just look at it that way. I think everything, no matter what form you're in, no matter what stage of your existence you're in, whether it's an incarnation or not, and you're formless, you're just spirit, not just spirit, but your spirit, you make your life what you want it to be. And if you want it to be miserable, then we'll go ahead. That includes the afterlife, I think. I'm not entirely positive because I just said I'm incarnated. I can't know it. I'm, I can't be positive about anything. I can't know it all. Neither can you. Okay, all I'm saying is we need to start getting along, minding our own business, get out of other people's business. We need to stop telling each other what to do and how to live our lives. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. The labeling, calling each other names, putting each other in categories, this, that, and the other. I mean, really. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm just so sick of it. This is why our world is like it is now. We've got people at the top of this pyramid trying to control the entire planet financially, uh, governance-wise. That shit's got to stop. We're individuals. We are born with consciousness and intelligence, and we come into this life. We grow into adults. And we learn to take care of ourselves. If your parents brought you up to the point of adulthood and you can't take care of yourself and you can't make decisions for yourself and you don't have morals and you don't have common sense to know what would be right and what is wrong, then your parents did a very bad job. They failed at being parents. We don't need to be told who we are. We don't need to be judged on who we are by others. Only by yourself. 
Look within. Is it right or wrong for you? If you're going to kill somebody, I, w I would look within and think about it first. Is that right or wrong? Hmm. If you have to think too hard about it. <laughs> right. Now, protecting yourself and your family is one other thing. But we're going to ascend to the point, people, where that's not going to be an issue. Right. Because we're going to get better. Right. Probably not in my generation or the next two. I don't know when it's going to happen. But we're working in that direction right now. Let's work on letting everybody alone. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. You mind your business. You decide what's right for you. You have children. Until they become adults, you decide what's right for them. And then you leave them alone and let them make the decision. It's that simple. We don't need all this shit. People telling us what to do. You have religion guilting us, telling us there's a God up there judging us on our every little tiny thought. And then you've got the government telling us what to do and judging us on stupid shit. Regulating every little thing we do. And now, oh my God, we have the thought police. You got to watch what you say. Constantly. Don't you think this is enough? Don't you think it's time to grow up? You should know better by now. You're, you're an adult. You should know better. Take care of yourself. Make your own decisions. I decided to call myself a witch and work with plants and plant energies. I made my decision. I believe in energies based on my life experience as a psychic medium. You want to call me stupid? Go ahead. I don't care. You're showing your ignorance. I don't go around judging other people's path. Why, why judge mine? It's silly. That woman having this stupid, sexy summer camp for kids who's a witch up in the Appalachians. I did take a little personally, both on those witch and Appalachian, okay? Because neither one of those categories, which I fit into, has anything to do with morals. The woman's an idiot. Oh, look at that. Am I showing my ignorance? I heard what that summer camp consists of. I read it. I saw it. I'm not being ignorant. If I still hit little ones, I wouldn't be sending them there. No. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. You need to have the knowledge before you start throwing that shit around. Don't tell me you know about Wiccan or witchcraft in the first breath and then tell me something that doesn't line up. You're, you're making a judgment that doesn't line up with those two belief systems. I don't judge other witches who bring in other deities, and I don't. You do what's right for you. It doesn't matter. You know what? It, it's not really... The universe isn't so harsh they're judging us on this. Okay? It's silly. We got to grow up. Just grow up, people. I'm sick of it. Okay? I'm not coming. I'm not incarnating here ever again. I tell you, I've had enough. This is time number five for me on this planet. And if you want to hear this shit and you think it's stupid, why are you listening to my channel? <laughs> troll? That's not, yeah, that, that's a very negative uh, vibrational word, troll. So if you're trolling. Yeah. But I'm done. This is my last time. I'm serious. I'm not doing it again. I incarnate again. It's going to be back on my home planet, the one I usually do. Because there we don't judge each other. Uh, you know, another more advanced planets. There's no, like, where people want this new world order. There isn't really this, but there's really, like, it's all united. But there isn't this governing body that goes around telling everybody what to do. Everybody there is so spiritually advanced, they take care of themselves. Uh, they act mature. They take responsibility for themselves. There's nobody, no religion and government telling them what to do. And religion and government, well, they used to go hand in hand. Some of them still do go hand in hand. I'm sorry. If you are a grown-ass adult and you still need somebody to make rules for you and regulate your life, you got a lot of growing up to do. 
I'm sorry. I just went off on one of my tangents because I've had enough. And it's like, you know, I'm sitting there being judged. First, I was insulted by the video because they assume because she's Appalachian and a witch, this is going on. No, I wouldn't do that. My cousins wouldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, come on, really. So anyways, I'm going to leave you with that. This world is just so messed up, and I just sit here in amazement going, oh my God, really? It's like watching a freak show. Anyways, blessed be, and make it a joyful one.